my first one is snooze. Now, it's all about managing your workflow. So if you're like me and you've got a lot of emails coming in, like in this role at the moment, I didn't, but my old role, I used to have a stack because I used to get emails from everyone. And at the end of my day, I'd come in here and in my little focus bo inbox, I would have all these emails in here that I haven't read, which was just absolutely frustrating and annoying. And some of them I couldn't really deal with until a bit later. Now, what your brain does is when you've got a whole lot of stuff sitting in front of you, you start thinking about things, even if you know you're not going to be working on them. So this second one here that I've got on my Microsoft Planner task, um, even if it's sitting in my inbox, cognitively, I'll look at that and go, oh, I don't have to deal with it. But your brain has kind of read it and they're kind of dealing with it in the back end. So it's kind of using up that working RAM. So if you know that you're not going to do that task or you don't need to answer that email, or you don't need to read that email or you don't need to action it till a bit later, you can snooze things out of your inbox. So let me grab this one here from my Microsoft Planner. All you do is you click on the dot and then come up to the top and there's a snooze button. Now in your snooze button, when you drop that down, you've got a couple of options. You can choose to do it later today, which is normally around about three o'clock. And then if you go for the morning, it always breaks it in at about eight. But so you can say, look, I'm not going to do it until later on tonight or even on the weekend, or I'm going to do it next week and on Monday at eight o'clock. So let's pretend that's what I want to do. So I just choose that one there. And then that email is, is taken out of my inbox and just snoozed for me. Now, if I've got another one, make out this one here where I go, this plan, this plan, a task I've got to do, I can come to snooze again. I'm going to choose a date this time. I want to be a bit more kind of picky about it. But I'm going to come to choose a date and I don't want to be referred to about the 13th and I'm going to pick a time of around about 1.30. So it's going to come back to me at about that time and then I just go save and it's gone. And so it'll just be hang there until it comes back. Now, don't be too panicky because you might go, oh my goodness, it's gone. I've suddenly freed some time up in my day. That thing I'm going to do on the 11th or the 12th, I'd love to do it now. All you need to do is come across to your list over here and there's a little button called snoozed. Now, if you click on snoozed, then your emails are going to live in there, the ones that you've snoozed. It tells you when they're going to be coming back and therefore you can action them as well. And it does put it in chronological order about the times that it was going to come back to you so you don't have to think too much about uh, when they're going to be landing on your inbox again. So that's really, really handy for just cleaning out the inbox for you and kind of freeing up that cognitive load for you inside your head as well. So that's one way of saving a bit of time.